Ottawa is known for its monuments and its museums, but it also has a thriving arts community. Displayed throughout the capital region are some incredible art exhibits, and ahead of Canada Day, we get a chance to check some out. Naomi Rete is the artist behind this beautiful whimsical display right in the center of Ottawa. It is called Jump. Most people, when they walk by, they come down the stairs, look back and go, oh, yes. that looks really neat. Uh -huh. There were a lot of layers behind this installation. And I think at first glance, it really just represents something really simple and beautiful, which is the salmon run. It's bright, it's colorful, it makes you smile. But one of the deeper meanings behind it for me was looking at it from a First Nations perspective, particularly for First Nations on the West Coast that the salmon run really is a practice of cultural regeneration. And so elders are able to teach their youth fishing practices and how you respect salmon, how you fish them, and why they're important to culture. What fascinates me is the installation of this. Yes. Because you have to put a little bit on the stairs and then stand back and see if it works, <laughs> and then put another on a stair and stand back. How does that no, go? No, that was my fear. So how this was actually done was, I drew this digitally in a program called Illustrator, and it was printed onto a cement grade sticker. Um, which was then cut into little strips to fit on each one of these steps and then it was used with a heat gun and adhered on. So it pretty well looks like paint. I was fooled too. If I, if I didn't know how it was actually installed, I would have thought it was painted on. It gives me great joy and for anybody visiting the Capitol, this is such a busy thoroughfare. This definitely, staircase, yeah. they're definitely going to see it. You should be so proud. Yes. Naomi, thank you so much. Yes, thank you. We have found our second art installation here in the capital, a beautiful piece called The Gathering. I'm here with two of the artists who have worked on it, Manuel and Charlene. Good morning to you both. Good, Good morning. morning. First of all, Manuel, explain to me some of the inspiration in this piece. The inspiration was really coming from the site in terms of it's within the Confederation Loop, which encompasses Ontario and Quebec as well as Parliament, Victoria Island, and then also the history of, of trees in terms of Canadian history, as well as the history of dream catchers. So the project was inspired for Canada 150 and also as part of reconciliation. Explain the significance of each of the elements of the structure, Manuel. The four posts, they establish the cardinal directions of the site, as well as metaphorically, they are the four provinces that founded Canada in 1867. Then you also have the dream catcher, and the dream catcher is divided into 13 spirals and they represent the 10 provinces and three territories that founded Canada as well as the creation story of the 13 grandmother moons. One of the eye-catching pieces of the gathering, Charlene, is I understand individually hand-blown glass elements. Tell me about creating them. Well I had the fun job of decorating this beautiful installation and adding a bit of sparkle. So the the texture I created was to emulate the circle or the ring that is repeated throughout the installation. So when it's lit at night the thickest part of these pieces will hopefully reflect the light and show thousands of little rings. It's a beautiful piece, lots of gorgeous symbolism and I love where it's situated in the city where you just look out over all of our history and as you said Manuel into the future. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. So not only have we shown you incredible works of art above ground, but they've taken care of you underground as well, turning these tunnels that are traveled by up to 1,500 people a day into many art galleries that can be enjoyed any time of day. These works of art in particular were created on National Indigenous Peoples Day by four separate Indigenous artists using just wood as a backdrop. They have created these works of art for you to enjoy.